December, we here at Fox 40 started asking everyone in the Sacramento Valley to tell us the big things about the remarkable women in their lives. We've whittled down the huge response, the top four finalists for prizes, and a national award sponsored by our parent company, Nextstar TV. Let me introduce you to Remarkable Woman nominee, Ominous Perarian. Push, push. Working her way up, strike by strike, to being an eighth degree black belt in Taekwondo is not something Aminus Perarian sees as just a personal accomplishment. Much like her ascension to being a four-time national champion in her sport, a member of the U.S. Taekwondo team in 2000 and a World Cup team member in 2001, the skill she achieves almost has the most value to her because of what it allows her to share, the lives it allows her to change. It fuels me to see when you hear these stories of someone saying, hey, literally, you know, you changed my life or you saved my life. You're like, how did I save your life? I'm teaching you kicking and punching or putting you in shape. They're like, you gave me a community. I was, you know, a very dark place and a very bad place. And now I have hope. I have this and the other. Or someone that comes to you and says, hey, my blood pressure was here. Now I'm this healthy. I'm off my meds. Or you have a parent say, hey, my child was in. Um, you know, occupational therapy for like a year and in four months we had we took them off of that. My kid's doing phenomenal or, uh, you know, a parent that says my kid keep, you know, kept getting bullied and now they are standing up and they're confident. I've had adults tell me they never spoke in any of their meetings at work. Now they're raising their hand, contributing to their job. They've gotten raises, they've gotten promotions. Over 25 years of that and the development of the Studio Martial Arts and Fitness Center in Roseville, Perarian has been a factor in thousands of lives, especially for the women and girls who have come to her. She wants them to know they are no less than anyone else. It's a mission born from being a six-year-old immigrant to the U.S. from Iran, honoring the sacrifice her parents made for their three girls. In the United States, uh, we're granted a lot of liberties. And for me, if I don't take advantage of those liberties, I'm taking things for granted, if you will. And also, it's a sign of respect to my parents that left everything in their country and moved, you know, their girls over here so they could have the freedom and the liberties that you're speaking of. So it's really important for me that we fully engage and maximize and take uh, full advantage of the freedom and the opportunities that are afforded to us in the United States. And so this 100% is one of those things that I even teach my kids that even they've lived here and they haven't experienced other things that I have experienced, like from my country and so forth. And I said, this is all a blessing. This is all a privilege. For Amidus, which fittingly means princess, warrior, and Farsi, the development of strong bodies and clear minds through this kind of discipline better society, one person at a time. Yeah. That stronger person now has more energy and insight to offer everyone around them based on what they've learned through their pursuits on the mat. Daniel, get in there, buddy. Building character, integrity, compassion, and perseverance here. Kind of no surprise when you consider this Stanford grad has an actual background in building. Layering a master's degree in construction management over her BS in business and then going on to become a general contractor and real estate broker. At a very young age, I had the amazing opportunity to work for my dad's company and help him with all his construction projects um, at age 16, 17. It was unreal to have that level of experience and responsibility. I think I got my general contractor's license when I was 19 years old. And uh, I remember that the uh, contractor state license board basically said you're denied because you have to have either two years of experience or have graduated from college to have the experience to, mm -hmm. you know, get your license. And I had done both. Uh -huh. And so they apologized. Prairian's affinity for building extends to the creation of Badass Moms, a martial arts, fitness and female empowerment program. Badass Dads, Prairian hasn't forgotten you either. She's also helping others plan for fitness and the self-worth it can deliver throughout an entire life with her Wise Warriors program for seniors. Though she's one of the highest ranking women in the world in the world of Taekwondo, Prairian's focus actually is most often on those considered the lowest ranking by societal standards, those with no accolades to speak of or power or influence, the homeless, women in crisis and poor families in need. There's the number one requested item by the shelters. As part of more than $1 million in gifts to her community, Prairian has led a donation drive that brought in 10,000 pairs of socks to warm the feet and hearts of those 
who needed to be embraced by their neighbors in order to survive. Through her nonprofit, The Power of Women, she's helped dole out another $300,000 over the last three years. It's a life that's left friend Donna Webb in awe, inspired, and tired, happily trying to keep up. What do you think, aside from a specific skill in the gym, what is the biggest thing that you've learned from Amadis? That there's really nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. Just set your mind to it and do it. So uh, overcoming like challenges. And one of the other things is that there really aren't any uh, problems we can't solve. So there are more challenges that, that have solutions and we just need to find the solution. Three. And even if all of her titles and businesses and ability to donate disappeared tomorrow, Pererian says starting anew would be easy because... It's not about what I've done, it's about what I can do for others.